Living your best life, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I am. It's sick, man. I can't lie. Good man. Um, talk to you about this evening, David Beckham. Um, was he someone that growing up as a kid, even though you're not a Man United fan, that you, you looked up to and idolised a little bit? Yeah, of course, man. Someone that didn't come from a lot and managed to achieve so much. Legend status as well. It's entrepreneur as well. Um, just interested to see his story, if I'm being honest. Um, so, yeah, looking really forward to it. Got my mum here with me as well. So, that's a vibe. There she is. She's there. No, no, no. That's not my mum. <laughs> um, and what are your sort of earliest, earliest memories of, of, of David kind of kind of growing up? I mean, for me, I think of that that free kick against Greece. I mean, that's the one that just sticks is out it, in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th am I a bit younger than you? No, yeah, no. Do you know what I think of? Remember that goal for United from the halfway, yeah, yeah, from the halfway yeah, yeah. line? Uh, was it Wimbledon? I'm was it, sure was it your that. boys' palace? Don't tell me that was against Palace. No, I should know. We we'll edit this bit out. I think it was Wimbledon, wasn't it? It was Wimbledon. Was it no, it was Wimbledon. It yeah, was Wimbledon. I'm glad it weren't against the Eagles. Um, but yeah, that's the first memory I got of him. That's how I first come across him. And then yeah, from there he's just been flying ever since. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. You're a YouTuber. Everyone knows who you are. You're doing very well for yourself. Who do you think? You know, Dave has gone on to become kind of obviously we know globally famous. Is there anyone kind of in this current England setup that could go on and kind of have the same sort of life and career, maybe post football as, as David Beckham? Oh, it's a good question. I think Jude Bellingham is absolutely yeah, flying at the yeah, moment. Yeah. I feel like that's the most common answer yeah, you'll get. I think um, Jack Grealish for me. Yeah, oh, Grealish is what I... When he won the league and he was sending it and he was a meme for the week, it was the best thing yeah. ever. Yeah. But someone like Saka too, you yeah. know what I mean? Very humble, very grounded. Um, you never see no bad press about someone like Saka. I think he's like the perfect role model. Even perfect's a bit harsh because it puts a lot of pressure on someone so young. But yeah, I'd say Saka and Jude Bellingham. And what are we up to these days? Have you got a busy, a busy couple of weeks coming up? I've been flying on YouTube, you know. I've got about like five videos to upload at the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, Beta Squad and AMP, I've just uploaded two bangers as well. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that. And um, <laughs> just streaming on Twitch every day, really. I'm really enjoying like the streaming life at the minute. And Crystal Palace, flying high under Roy Hodgson. Are you, are you confident the good times are coming back under Roy? Do you know what? I'm going to say something and it might sound a little bit mad, yeah? I reckon we could make Europe, you know? No! No, no, no. I know that sounds mental, but if I stood here and said to you the, the year that Leicester won the league, look, Leicester are going to win it, you'd look at me like I'm a madman, innit? Yeah, yeah. So the point I'm trying to make is anything can happen in football. We got the result the other day at United. Do you know what I mean? It was like attack of the defence the whole 90 minutes, but we did it. Um, but yeah, absolutely buzzing. What about Eber I guess, him in the team, anything's possible, right? Yeah, facts. Um, and it's so even sick uh, to have him in the squad because I grew up with him. He's a good friend of mine, so... When he signed for he really? yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. So when he signed for Palace, it was like almost like a mini dream come true, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, very good. Uh, we need at least a back fit. Once he's back, we'll be flying again. Did you always think, as a as a young kid, if you're being honest, did you always know he was destined to, to be an England footballer? Uh, yeah, he was always in and out of clubs. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well for him as he was growing up. He was at Mere Wharf, the top of my head, Arsenal, uh, QPR. QPR as well. So yeah, I knew because he was in and around the system, I knew he had a better chance than an average person, you know what I mean?